Okay, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at bringing in some shape files, some parcels. We're going to do a quick layout using the, the parcels that we put in and do a quick subdivision layout. So I've got my shape files here extracted, and all I need to do is simply drag and drop that on the screen. If my coordinate zone is already preset, which it should be, then whatever zone that uh, shape file is in, it will reproject as needed. So I'm just going to drag and drop that on my screen. That's going to import the shape files and the command to bring up your task pane where some of the data is going to reside. I'm just going to key in map w space and turn that on. So I now have my tax parcel, my parcels here. Um, you can select a parcel. If you right click there's show data table. So you have all the attributes of that shape file um, in that database. Okay. I'm going to do a filter. I'm going to do a filter by a parcel ID and I'm going to key in a parcel that I want to use just to quickly extract and use that to lay out something. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to zoom to it or zoom close to it. And then we're going to look at, let's just use uh, this parcel here. So I'm going to select it. You can see that it is a, a, a map object. Um, I'm going to right click. I'm going to check it out because what I want to do is I want to use that as a polyline and turn it into a parcel. Okay, once I've checked that out, I can explode it and I can explode all the features around it if I wanted to. And then I can get rid of this tax parcel by just going to remove layer. Uh, I'm going to leave them in just so we can see what they look like. And I'm going to do a quick and simple subdivision layout. Uh, so here's a center line. You know, let's maybe tie that in to this existing road. And I'm just going to use some simple AutoCAD commands. Draw that line through here. Matching up. So just a quick concept plan, no real major thought put into it and I'm just going to want to see what maybe this project will yield for me. Okay. Let's do this one up here and then we're going to turn them into a parcel using the create parcel from object. So home tab parcel, create from object. I'm just going to pick my overall boundary that I extracted and the right away lines that I have created. I'm just going to hit enter, um, choose our styles, our side, exi existing ex entities be erased. Let's say okay. okay. It's pretty quick. I've, I've got my two sides. I've got a road splitting down the middle. We can maybe use these parcel creation tools that Civil 3D has. And let's say, let's see what we have here. Let's say we want uh, half acre lots. I could say four, three, five, six, zero divided by two. That's going to give me that square footage. You know, maybe we want third acre lots, four, three, five, six, zero divided by three. Minimum frontage, um, frontage offset, some of those settings in there. What do we want to do with the remainder? Redistribute, create a parcel from the last one, place remainder and last parcel. Let's just redistribute it. I'm going to use slide line create. Hit OK. I'm going to pick, let's do the left side first, and then I'm going to pick along the frontage with a 90 degree angle. Beautiful. Let's do that on the one side. Okay. So quick layout. Nothing, nothing pretty, but I brought in the GIS data. I checked out that overall boundary, turned it into a parcel, and did a quick concept plan. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with GIS data without uh, getting too detailed in there. Um, and quickly and easily within a couple minutes, we had a conceptual subdivision layout that we can turn in or kind of go from there. So.